Alright, so welcome back to Pokemon Fault Way 2 version, and we're going to Driftvale City because if you go left of Driftvale City, we're actually going to go ahead and encounter one of the three Kami Pokemon. Uh, the two younger brothers and the one older brother. In this episode, we're going to catch Tornadus, who waits outside of the tower that you actually find the old man in black and white games, who will unlock the three, um, what do you call those? Musketeer Pokemon, which are Verizon, Mobile, Terrakion, can I go here? No. And Cobalion. So, I'm going to take the shortcut and surf around the entire place because he wants to take a long cut. So, no! No, you stupid Zoomero! Anyways, if you go over here, oh, do you see him in the top right corner? He's right there. Now, as you can see, he's in his incarnate form, and he isn't actually going to be in his incarnate form. There's two things uh, that's significant for this Pokemon. One, he's going to be in his Therian form, which cannot be traded. Therian forms cannot be traded, so do not- No! Oh, you don't want to fight me, good. Uh, Therian forms cannot be traded. Although he might not seem like it. He can change forms whenever. He doesn't need a reflecting mirror, right? So, not only is he in theory in form to have the different base stats, but he's also encountered at level 50, so you can train him the other half. Isn't that awesome? Oh my god, it's a shut. No, no, that's the level 50 thing's not what I was originally gonna say. I just wanted to make it look like I found him as a shiny on my first try. Not really, he's found as a shiny every single time you encounter him, along with his brother and his other brother. <laughs> Should've just had two brothers. Him being level 50 though, uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult to battle him, so I'm just gonna switch out into my Jellicent, which is level 40, which is only 10 levels lower than his level, so I should be able to do some damage, and he's gonna agility so much in this battle, I can see it. I can see him, like, using six, okay, not six, but three agilities, and like, three sword dances and everything. Oh my god. Hopefully this does a lot of damage, because oh my god, this is going to be one of those battles where I have to continuously attack him for like half the battle. Yep, it's going to be that. But the thing about it is, this is, Pokemon Black and White 2 are created off of Pokemon Black and White 1. So these guys will still have the original catch rate from Black and 1, so he can't screw up with these legendaries in terms of catch rate. So this episode will take a long time to catch him, and if the episode is 6-7 minutes long, well, if it is 6 or 7 or 8 minutes long, then you know why, because he's going to be taking a while to be caught. Oh my god, like, when I'm playing an LP or something, I have to talk about something. I can't just narrate what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to use Flash. Now I will use Waterfall, and he will hit me with a move that will probably kill me. No, that's so boring. This won't kill me. I have to talk about something, like... Narrating what's happening isn't really my style of commentary. And this Tornadus is either bulky or this Jellison sucks. Like, literally sucks. So, Jellison fainted. I'm probably gonna bring out, like, Aerodactyl or something to heal up Push. And then Push can do some damage to Tornadus. It's good that this Tornadus doesn't have, like, Recover, Rest, or anything. Rest is the most annoying because it gets rid of, like, the paralyzation and stuff. Uh, for a Pokemon that has Rest, your only hope is to like um, get it frozen or like paralyzed or sleeping while it's at like full HP so it can't do anything. I should send someone out. And that's like the only thing you can do for recover. You just have to keep them at full HP and chuck Ultra Balls if you're too lazy like me. Or you can just throw a Master Ball. What the heck is that red thing on Tornadus? I just realized. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal Push. He's gonna use Crunch. I'm gonna miss it. I mean, he's gonna miss me. And wow, I'm just gonna switch into push. For some reason, I had a feeling he would kill me, but that has, like, that's impossible. I'm level 76, and I probably uh, resist all his moves. This might kill me. That's not fair. I worked so hard to revive him. Such an idiotic tornadus. I don't even want you. Why do I need you? I'm not even gonna use you. You're a fake shiny. Well, not a fake. He's a real, but. I mean, I like Pokemon that are simply shiny, like the Red Gyarados was really cool. And I think they overdid it with the shiny Haxorus and stuff like that. But whatever, you know, they do what they do. But I think the only two they have done is the Red Gyarados and the shiny Haxorus, so it's kind of alright. But in Hax, there's Crystal Onyx and stuff. So, yeah, you guys should play some of the Game Boy Advance Hacks. They're awesome, like... If you wanna, if you have like a slower computer and you wanna play like Pokemon Crystal or something, 
but you find the Game Boy versions like really slow and like not slow but really like you're too modern to play them which I'm not I'd play them any day I even have it on my iPod so you can actually play like Pokemon Liquid Qu Crystal Pokemon Water Blue and stuff I don't even know what it's called Water Blue and wow I literally heal pushes with berry juice and he doesn't hit me so wow if this kills me I'm gonna literally like slash you in the face Alright, this should do a lot of damage. Oh, snap! That's perfect! Now I should use, like, cut or something to get you down to red. And then I can start chucking the balls. Oh, yeah! You missed me! Now I gotta catch you. I'm gonna go for one more cut, and he's gonna kill me! That would have gotten him down to 1 HP, or, like, 2, 3, 4 HP. So, I just have to send out someone who can take a lot of hits. Of course, the boss. And, wow. Who damaged him with 2 HP? Yeah, just chuck down the Ultra Balls. Trust me. I doubt this. Wow, am I already 7 minutes into the recording? This is already like one of the longest episodes. So, uh, for the rest, I'm just going to be chucking down the Ultra Balls. I would just speed up this, but then that's kind of boring. If you want, I'll just narrate through this. Like always. Like I always say, but never do. I can um, montage all the captures. But, honestly, I'll say it now, and I'll say it every single time. I'm too lazy. Like, when Chaga Conroy does that kind of stuff, it takes a long time. He picks out, like, the funniest reactions and stuff, and he puts it in. And he doesn't really include all of them. He might. I assume he doesn't. But, of course, I don't know. Because, well, actually, I don't know. You can probably, like, analyze his videos to find out. But, yeah, how did I even get to that topic? I need something to talk about. This is so boring. Here, let's just push A and B. That'll catch him. That'll teach him a lesson to mess with me. Oh, yeah, see? Already teaching him no lesson. Wow, you suck. <laughs> right when he gets out, he spreads his wings like, yo, want to start something? Oh, man. This guy looks pretty cool. I think Tornadus is one of the only bird-type Pokemon, or, like, flying-type Pokemon, that isn't part normal, which kind of makes me think. If someone were to hack Tornadus, because I'm pretty sure you can't learn Roost, but if someone were to hack Tornadus and give him the move Roost, what would happen? Because the move Roost makes it so, um, not, well, not only does it recover a half of your HP, but it also removes your flying type temporarily for that one turn. So it's really useful when someone's, like, trying to, like, when I'm in Wi-Fi battles, People keep using like Thunderbolt or Ice Beam and stuff, and I have like a Pidgeot or like a Bravery or a Huntcrow. I would use Roost, like they would like bring me down to 1 HP, and if I use Roost, the super effective turns into normal effective because I'm not part flying anymore. But if this guy were to use Roost, would the game like glitch or something if you use the move? Like what, what would he turn into? Like someone should try that. I should try that. Maybe he'll turn into a normal type, which would suck. Because flying has an advantage over like fighting types, and you use roost and he uses like dynamic punch and you're dead, which would suck. But I mean, normal type is not like a default type. It's just it's a type like every single one. So maybe that's why Tornadus can't learn roost. I'm assuming. Maybe he can. I got it wrong. I said Lucario can't learn focus blast when he clearly can. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I should I should research before I make these videos. Oh yeah. Oh no, you suck. Look, every single time he spreads his wings like, what do you want, man? You can't catch me. Look at him, he's doing the robot all slow. Robot? Robot, so slow. Yeah, see, look. This is what happens when you're sitting here catching a legendary. You see me blabbering. You don't see me. You hear me blabbering on and on and on. You can't do any damage to me. I think this guy's going to start using struggle. All right, look. He did, like, the super diving mode into the ultra ball. He's going to get caught. He... Why do you wiggle once? If you're gonna troll me, troll me to the extent of three. Don't wiggle once. Oh, maybe he does have a move that can hurt me, but not enough to <laughs> counter my leftovers. Wow, you suck, Tortoise. I mean, like, if you had, like, Swords Dance or something, then I would be pretty screwed. Oh, look, now he's gonna troll me. Dude, just because I told you that. Look, he did it again. He spreads his wings. Just because I told you to do that doesn't mean you do that. It was a joke. Can't you take a joke? Can't. This guy reminds me of someone. I can't remember who. This Pokemon reminds me. I can't even remember. What Pokemon is green? 
There's a lot of green Pokemon. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe it's like some Final Fantasy character he reminds me of. God. Oh my god. You know what? I think this ball will catch him. I put four bucks on the line that he'll catch him. Well, you didn't agree to the bet, so I don't have to give you guys four bucks. That's your fault. Oh my god. This is turning out to be so boring. If this episode turns out to be recording like 20 minutes, it's gonna be so boring. Then I have to montage it. That, that would suck. That would suck a lot. I don't, like, if I'm gonna montage one montage, if I'm gonna montage a video, I should do that to all the videos. Like, someone subscribes, oh, he montages the boring parts, and then they find out I don't montage anymore. They're gonna be so upset. And that's how a hater is created. Well, not really. I'm just making stuff up. I don't even know how a hater's created. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. This is so boring. Come on. Okay. Just keep quiet. Okay. He'll he'll be caught. Guess that doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work there either. I thought I just had to be quiet for a whole turn. But I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's not going to make a difference. If it does catch, it's just a coincidence. Just a coincidence. And he's going to struggle any minute now. We won't even be able to go to a 20 minute recording because, like, he's not going to be caught before he starts struggling and hurting himself. I need that lad yes to use Heal Pulse if he starts struggling. That would actually be a good idea. If you're finding a Pokemon and he keeps, um,. Like, he's very difficult to catch like Mewtwo when he starts using Struggle. You should just weaken him down to, like, yellow HP. And then, like, throw an Ultra Ball. And then when he starts using Struggle, get a Pokemon with, like, Heal Pulse and continuously heal them. And then when he gets back down to, like, Orange, throw an Ultra Ball and keep going. I don't think he can critical. Actually, you can get a critical hit with, um, Struggle. So, I don't know. Why am I even talking about Struggle? Alright, you know, I bet you this is going to take like another 10 minutes. I'll explain some stuff. If anyone is going to stay till the end of the video, you've got a treat. Clap, clap, clap. Let's see if clapping makes him get in the ball. Oh! No, it doesn't work. I'm never clapping again. That probably like made it hurt your ears. Everyone's going to be like, rip headphone users. Whatever in the video you're in. So, um, I'm actually going to be doing a live event soon. Um, the computer I'm using is an HP with like 8GB RAM and Intel i3 processor. And I'm planning to get an Alienware computer. I really don't like to like change. Oh, look at that. He did so much damage that my leftovers couldn't con, con, con what? Control? I don't even know the word. Con what? Whatever. Um, I'm planning to get an Alienware which is an i7 processor because. I tried in a live event. If you look at my video manager, you'll notice like four live events that are unlisted because I try to uh, test stuff out. Uh, now I'm pretty comfortable with live events, and I'll we, I we, I will be doing one in the future, like in a few weeks and stuff. So that's your present for staying this long. It's not a very good one. You stay this long just to know that you're gonna be watching more of me. <laughs> All right, this one is it. This one is it. This one is it. A, B for the win! Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Just yell into the microphone to make people angry. Push A, B or Z, X on my keyboard. And boom! He's caught. I don't even know what to name you. What the heck are you? You're a bird that's green with a red tail. And you're a genie. Oh, I know what to name you. Toucan Sam! Everyone know who he is? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. How do you spell him? Two can oh yeah, there. Two can Sam. If you want some Fruit Loops, go ask Tornadus. He's waiting right here. Yep. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and everything. I'm gonna go in this cave and see if I can find that old man again. 